International human rights groups are urging world leaders to pressure the government of Yemen to respect human rights and to not use the United States' so-called war on terrorism to further violate them. The activists say Yemen's government is deceiving its international partners by presenting political activists as terrorists, citing the trials of people opposing the war in the country's north as well as those members of the Southern Movement, which is demanding autonomy in the region. In a letter, the group said, quote, Terrorism should be defined so that it is not manipulated politically by any party, and support to the government should be conditioned by the improvement of media environment work and stopping the harassment of journalists and activists. Amal Basha, who chaired a meeting of the group, said, quote, Wars, preventive strikes and killing outside the law, repressive arrests and detentions, torture, false trials are all terrorism crimes that are equal, in our views, to terrorism of armed individuals or militias. They strip the government of legitimacy in their war on terrorism and contribute into generating a good bastion for terrorism. Journalist Mohammed Ayesh says that the Yemeni government has manipulated the war on terrorism in its fight against al-Houthi rebels in the northern province of Sada and against separatist activists in the south. Ayesh said, quote, The government has tried its best to convince the international community to label the Houthis as terrorists and has so far failed to do so. It has also tried to claim there is a link between al-Qaeda and the southern movement activists, though everybody knows that they have genuine political, economic and rights demands. Ayesh says the government had arrested 864 activists in the south between March and July of 2008 and that 95 of the detainees have faced trial in a terrorism court.